Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Game, and we're returning to rule the waves too. Still a war against the Germans as the US. So last time we actually had the first battle, and I only realized that in between episodes, where our ships didn't sight each other, but we only engaged via air combat. So that was a little bit, um, yeah, an historically interesting fact. So the first time that the ships in combat didn't really see or spot one another directly, but only indirectly, so... So, uh, the Germans do have most of their forces in Northern Europe. We do see some forces on our west coast, specifically a German battlecruiser. Um, I would ideally like to do something against that, but... Hmm... Well, we do have some people over here in the Caribbean, so... You know what? Let's actually try to move these guys over uh, towards the west coast. The independence, unfortunately, cannot come along because it's still being repaired. So that is a bit of an issue, but yeah, other than that though, I think we are more or less fine. So yeah, let's move all of these guys towards the west coast. Let's try to catch that battlecruiser. And that would be kind of lovely. Ooh, oxygen fuel torpedoes. So that's a very interesting development. Um, historically, of course, the Japanese did have these and uh, in the long lines torpedo. And they enabled basically torpedoes to go much faster and much further. And then other torpedoes would because they uh, were propelled only by oxygen and not by a nitrogen uh, oxygen mixture. So, uh, on the other hand, they were much more difficult in terms of exploding. Ooh. Really? The row, a Flosser class destroyer, has been sunk by a torpedo. And the Perkins is sinking submarine, though. German V has hit a mine. That's nice to see. <coughs> Any battles? Okay, apparently not this time. So German battlecruiser is still in this area. So we're going to keep at that. Look at the presence of the Soviets in the Caribbean. I don't think they're just cruising over here. Yeah, we'll have to see. <clears throat> we're earning some money again. So we might think about what we want to build at next, basically. Um, I think more destroyers would be great. So we have the new Reed class destroyer compared to the Flosser. Uh, it does have, <coughs> sorry, uh, no secondary guns. These guys had eight two-inch guns, uh, but they are carrying eight five-inch guns, uh, and all of these are dual purpose, so they have much better protection against enemy submarines. Uh, sorry, against enemy aircraft and submarines, basically, because they do have an anti-submarine warfare rating of eight. So that is pretty good. I'm wondering whether we do need another Lexington class uh, battlecruiser. Is there anything that we change in this design? I don't think necessarily there is. We do have some weight remaining, or we could do some better torpedo defenses. That's certainly something that we would want. <clears throat> A little bit more speed would be lovely, but I don't think we have this, the uh, capabilities for that. Might want to do a little bit better turret tops. 16-inch guns is still pretty good. Can we do more secondary guns? We could. It looks a bit awkward, but I think it works. I don't think this works. Oh, it would. <clears throat> and well, this doesn't really work, but maybe this way. Yeah, this would still be considered legal, so... <clears throat> I'm kind of tempted to build this new battlecruiser. Constellation. I think we need one more cruiser, one more battlecruiser. Okay, yeah, let's let's design this. I think that'd be lovely to see. Uh, you know what? We do still have some weight remaining over here, so maybe we can do something else. Is there anything else that we might want to do? Well, more AA certainly seems to be l useful. <clears throat> A little bit more ammo as well. Yeah, that's all okay. All of these are very qualitative guns, so reliability, medium range. 
Yeah, I think this is good. So yeah, let's design this. Yes, very good. Okay. A couple of our ships are considered obsolete, including the Flosser class. Do we want to redesign them? Well, the main important thing would be here to get better quality guns. But I think that would truly increase the weight considerably. Torpedo reloads wouldn't be too bad. But we don't have the power for that. Oh, and forward anti submarine warfare mortars would be great, actually. <clears throat> but the rebuild cost now would be a little bit excessive, so what we might actually want to do then is instead simply give you the mortar. Torpedo reloads don't seem to be viable. A little bit more AA, always useful. Mine sweeping gear. I mean, we could relegate you to secondary duties. <clears throat> okay, let's let's wait a little bit with this. Next turn. We should not get them off lightly. More research, light AA effectiveness. Rialto, we are losing a lot of ships due to the enter submarine warfare. Hmm, and another coastal raid. Medium size. Let's try this. Um, and I think we want to suppress enemy airfields with our land-based forces. We are very, very close to the Germans. Okay, so what have we got? We've got a light cruiser, two battleships, a couple of carriers over here. This, well, at least two. Is that two? This looks a little bit weird down here. No, these might in fact be only destroys your screening for the carrier, that's okay. And your what? Your two light cruisers, your screening as well. Um, maybe you should actually be s supporting them. And I think that works out alright. Good, okay, so the order of battle, let's briefly check on that. This is only the Langley. Cruiser, 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 carrier? No, we do have another carrier. The Saratoga. Where is the Langley? Okay, it must be in here as well. <clears throat> All right. And then we've got the battleships. Okay, you can actually go max speed already because we're going to try to get down there. You are scouting. You can be a eye control for all that I care. So, uh, yeah, let's set up our things over here. Mm, I think in terms of the right line, we can go a little bit more closely like that. Left line is actually fine. Maximum <clears throat> combat air patrol. And that should be okay. And then we should try to have a look at our carrier divisions. Carrier division 8. Oop. That was weird. Okay, so that's the Langley. You've got a couple of things ready. Well, we could use our dive bombers to attack their airfields, actually. That would be an interesting choice, wouldn't it? Okay, let's ready these guys. And these dive bombers. You might actually want to do a ground strike. I just want to try and see whether we can do that. So that's from here towards where? There's probably an airbase at Emden. Yeah, there is one at Emden. And there's one at Wilhelmshaven. So that was Carry Division 8. <clears throat> And yeah, these dive bombers target a naval air station Emden. That's a range of 71 knots. So yeah, you can do a heavy loadout. <clears throat> and you know what? I think we are going to launch this strike immediately because we don't need to prepare it and wait for it. Um, just 11 guys should be okay. Yeah, let's launch that strike and on carrier division 11. Okay, at least no error message. Right, you are also taking Emden. You can take a heavy load out. You have 16 guys. Let's launch that strike. Oh, no, 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 no. <clears throat> okay, 
Let's hope that that works. Okay, fine. Good. Um, that does leave these torpedo bombers. We are going to get these guys to at least ready themselves, and that should be okay. Good. <clears throat> All right, let's start the game. Um, actually, do we even want to get that close with our battleships? I think not. I think we want to basically go into the exact other location. Because I think the Germans will be sending up a lot of air forces against us. There are our recon flights. That was a funny flight over there. Okay, so we've um, heard about a transport down here. This is our first first indication of an enemy. Uh, let's see whether we do have anyone ready. I think these these four torpedo bombers, um, they are very good strike force to... I don't know why there's no numbers here. I have a couple of... wait a minute, something is off here. Well, I don't know whether that works, but let's see, okay. Um, you know what, let's launch this strike. Has no okay. You cannot okay. So because really funny though. Okay, um, let's have a look at the other carrier. Okay, you are at least ready. You've got four. Yeah. So let's launch this strike, and that's okay. Good. Where are our scouts? I don't see them right now. All right, let's see. Okay, lots of sightings down here, interestingly enough. Yeah, I don't want to chase, well, do I? Okay, let's go down south here on maximum speed with our carriers, uh, with our battleships. And are we actually sending someone to Emden? Combat Air Patrol over there. Bloom and Force Recon Flights. Ooh, this is bad. Okay, so now they've spotted us. <clears throat> That's pretty unfortunate, and I think that might be our strike package, right? Yeah, so some dive bombers are going down there for, on a ground strike mission. Lovely to see. Ground strike has taken off another one, so that's probably someone over there. These guys, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so and we are uh, so we do hear a little bit about these guys down here. Apparently, there's a battle cruiser down here, and apparently, there's a battle cruiser up here. So at the same time, you know. So you know what I think. What we're going to do is we're going to take carrier division number eight. It's a little bit funny. There's some glitches over here, or I don't quite understand how it works. You only have 18. Why, why is site 19 aircraft? All oh, right. Okay. Let's set your location. You're going to get over here, and you're set on naval strike. Let's launch that strike. And I don't care that they are going to get hurt a little. And carrier division number 11. So you're fine. Let's also take these 17 guys and launch an airstrike. It's actually not that bad that Dusk is, is going to arrive very soon, um, but yeah, let's see. We're not sighting any enemy shipping over here. Yeah, there are two strike packages coming towards Emden. And there are our torpedo bombers. I do hope that they do find something, otherwise we'll have to see. Ooh. So no aircraft hit, there's just one bomb hit. I don't think that did a lot of damage, but oh, we'll have to see. One aircraft damage, a single bomb hit, no bomb hits. Oh, what's this down here? Unidentified ship. This might be a transport ship. What are our objectives actually? Sink two ships. If we do sink two ships, that'd be very lovely. Yeah, and we are taking Emden by a lot of things, but we're not scoring that many hits, I'm afraid. 
Life bomb enemy CA, so heavy cruiser? It's a little bit surprising. Yeah, this is a transport ship down here. Let's actually take the light cruiser here. We get it off AI control, max speed, try to intercept uh, these transports. Uh, what's your gun range? Eh, very close to. Okay, we shot down an enemy recon plane. That's good to see. And some naval strikes are taking off. So what are all of these red dots that I do see over here? Naval strike, combat air patrol. Yeah, I'm very afraid that the Germans are soon going to attack. Yeah, a merchant class. Come on, just, just take it out. I know you can. Air combat. Okay, so more transports, I believe. Uh, or recon flights. California is now opening fire on this guy. I actually want to go east over here. Uh, and you, my sir, are also coming up against this land feature. I think that's alright because we are hitting, should be hitting these guys pretty heftily now. Yeah. And ideally, you could also put a couple of torpedoes into there. Okay, now we are being hit by something somewhere. And it's just stuck, stuck turret. Okay, so nothing too, too important. 11 inch, ooh, 11 inch hit now on what? Oh, so we know it's an 11 inch battery and we've hit it once. Interesting. Okay, so you've got four guns, four 11 inch guns and a couple of smaller guns. Okay, yeah, I want to get out of out of your range as fast as possible, basically. Need merchant hits? Yeah, and we are hitting this guy as well. That's, that's good. I mean, we are suppressing them to some degree. Are you on fire? Could you actually launch torpedoes here, please? Richmond just raking them with their three inch guns. Come on, just some torpedoes to finish them off. But I think they are gone anyway. Okay, our battleships are coming up this way. Our naval strike packages are going this way as well. So maybe this is your torpedo range. You know what, let's try to make a last run at this. I mean, they must be going down with all of this coming up. Okay, Dauntlesses are coming up against enemy shipping, probably over here. And it's just before twilight, that's good as well. Torpedo momming an enemy battleship, interesting. Oh, we did score one hit. Okay, you're coming back up towards our battleships that's nice um, and our battleships are now in twilight so that's good as well uh, the issue is of course that our combat aircrafts uh, will probably have to land at night and that's a very bad situation um, no we do not in fact want to detach anyone to pick up survivors this close to the port uh, coastline Okay, what's actually our radar contact? Ooh, there we are. This is the first radar contact. Okay, let's try to get up there. It's fairly slow. It might be an, an enemy battleship. Can I actually spot it from over here? You know what, you guys here, maybe get away from screening and to supporting so that you have a little bit cleaner vision. Okay, this is just a Corvette, uh, which I don't, I don't mind that much actually, because we can probably sink it fairly easily. You don't have to fire 16 inch guns on a Corvette. Three, three hits. Jesus. Yeah, there's another unidentified ship. And that might be the battleship that I'm going for because, yeah, we've uh, sunk the battle, this guy. So this here might be a battleship that we did put in torpedoes earlier. 
And I would very, very much like to sink that guy. Uh, let's take these guys out of AI control and let's try to get over here as well. Ideally, I would like to put some torpedoes in there. Come on, open fire on this ship. Come on, you can do it. You know it's an enemy. And it's an enemy battleship. Yeah, we are firing at, at basically point blank range into this guy. Lots of hits. Is this truly a battleship though? No, it's a heavy cruiser, a Herter class. Still, even even so much more, it should be just really, really being. Uh, you know what? I want you to turn leftwards, and then these destroyers can come up against them over here. Try to launch some torpedoes. Yeah, but they're being wrecked. Let's look at the damage. Two turrets destroyed, one disabled. Secondary guns are still, are still all right apparently. And you are moving away there. Would be lovely if you could send in just a couple of torpedoes. Uh, what are you doing now? They are under AI control now, so I can really control this. But that's an interesting attack pattern here. <laughs> Just look at that fire ruin from all directions and scoring so many four inch hits on these guys. That's a little bit brutal. I would just like you to maybe do a single torpedo run here. I think that'd be lovely. Right. Um, and that means we can actually take our battleships and join up back in the north. Maybe go due north. See if we can find something else along Helgoland. Along this range over here. Come on, Warrington. You can you can launch a torpedo. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Um, I hope this torpedo is not connecting with the Connecticut or California. Okay, hopefully it's going to run out of steam before that. And there are more torpedoes uh, hitting the Herter. Okay, now you can you can get rid of it. Let go of it. I mean, um, let's basically check on the a. Uh, on the air search pattern, I think that's alright. Right, yeah, let's go a little bit faster over here. Okay, you know, guys, 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 guys. Let's get back to screening the battleships. I think you can come up north again, please. This guy is a goner. Heavy damage here, yeah. Very heavy damage, I suppose. You can't possibly stay afloat. You're even making some speed, which I find somewhat surprising. Come on, guys, you can't come up here. Right, let's take the battleships this way. Continue speed over here. Let go of it. It's sinking. It's going to sink. Very confident about that. Right, what time is it? Oh, still night. Early night, actually. Right, okay, so you're coming up over here. The destroyers are coming along as well. Don't see any enemy, enemy, any enemy, so... Uh, yeah, I think our bombers will be alright. Let's go to Ultra here and retire a little bit from the coast before the morning comes. And we'll be subject to uh, their land-based bombers. 10 knots should be fine. Good. Yeah, we did, we did fulfill our, object, uh, our objective, so I'm feeling fine here, and that should be okay. Right. Come on, end of battle. They will have a bonus for four surviving merchantmen, but yeah, and the Herter class has gone down. It's been confirmed. Lovely. I like to sink the heavy cruisers. In the first war, the heavy cruisers did so much damage against us. And let's wait a second over here before morning comes and adjust the th search pattern over here a little bit um, like so and you know what let's uh, take a look at our strike divisions what have we got we've got 18 dive bombers do we seriously lose all of our torpedo bombers 
Well, I knew we were risk risking some, but I wasn't wasn't aware that we'd be losing so many. Okay, let's strike with what we can. And see whether we can find any enemy. Stay in the North Sea here and see what we can do. So there are our strike packages. They are coming down here. They'll probably find something in the area. Just a couple of transports and AMCs. Lovely. Yeah, I thought they'd be finding some, some ships down there. Lovely. <laughs> Although I suspect that they'd probably be all the same ship. Six torpedo hits, seven, eight, nine, ten torpedo hits, eleven. Oh my. Okay, let's... And look at all of these reports. Germany has no ships left at sea. Okay, so we did sink a heavy cruiser. They had a battle cruiser here. They had a carrier over here. Uh, ten destroyers. We did sink five ships, including three auxiliaries. Didn't lose any ship, not even damaged. So that's pretty good. They didn't even get a point. Bonus for one surviving merchantman. Lovely. Yeah, so let's look at the ship details over here. The Herter, just, just how much damage did you take? 100 light hits, 22 heavy hits, 5 torpedo hits. You have been sunk very rapidly. Yeah, and then in terms of torpedo hits, yeah. Just one of these merchantmen's received 5 torpedoes. That's pretty brutal. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Uh, air damage in Emden. So you suffered four bomb hits. I'm not sure what that did though. Facility hit. Dot bomb hit. Runway hit. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether that has disabled any air bases or something. Air base Bergen. Okay. Right. Um, let's look at the air details as well because I want to find out just how many losses we had. Original number? I think uh, operational loss is probably right. Yeah, so our guys, our friendly, friendly side, Starvangenavik, Langley, torpedo bombers, 20. What's TH? Torpedo hit scored, okay, yeah. Bomb hit scored, kills, lost on base, operational losses. We didn't suffer that many operational losses. Okay, fine. I'm very happy with this result, so let's leave this scenario. 2,000 victory points, Borkum Riff, yes. That is a nice victory for us, even though we didn't sink any capital ships. Right, that being said, um, yeah, so a couple of obsolete ships, specifically the Flusser class, we'll have to look at that. How many ships are under construction? Just two Yorktown class. We could build a third Yorktown class. Might not be the worst idea. But we're also saving up for the constellation, I think. How are we comparing to our enemies? We've got five battleships. We only have two battle cruisers. France has a lot more. Yeah, I think it makes more sense to build up the heavy cruiser tonight. Even though our carriers are doing wonders for us. They're really, really wonderful. Destroyers, we do have a, a good number, fair number of those. Light cruisers. Surprising the enemy don't build that many. Germany losing their heavy cruise advantage. They are building more, including this new Yorktown class. They actually started building theirs now, I think. Probably to replace their losses. Yeah. Not that much that we can do about that, though. Alright, so I think this is a very good place to put in a cut. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and to see you again next time. Bye-bye.